Where's Mr. Sullivan? He made a career move on the new soup. Who are you? Karen Messing, 305. Would you please come outside? There's something I think you should see. Yeah. You better learn to respect those who live around you. This is a changing neighborhood. I'll change your face! Are you all right? Huh? You boys have buried yourselves deep. Thanks for the help. It may no longer be desirable to live in this building. It's long distance. It's for Mr. B.A. Baracus, the head of the AT. Oh. Yeah. He broke my mother's arm. Nobody put their hands for my mother and lived to tell her about it. We're going to Chicago right now, Hannibal. Now, take it easy. We're behind you on this thing 100%. Sure, B.A., whatever you say. Remember, you're our leader. Look, man, I know I exaggerate sometimes, but you do it all the time. Yeah, well, ac actually, I always felt you had leadership potential. Hey, man, we got to find the fastest way possible to get to my mother. That's going to mean flying, big guy. That's right, flying. You're sure that's what you want to do? Yeah. This time, no commercial flights. They're always late. We can't be late. Face man, I want you to scam a plane. Better yet, make that a jet. We got one heck of a problem. Karen here, she's an attorney. That's why I wanted you all to meet her. As far as I've researched, we have very little recourse here. They just seem intent on emptying these units. Karen, do you have a tenants association in this building? No. No tenants association. <clears throat> no wonder this has been going on. Maybe we should form one. What do you think, B.A.? Good idea, Hannibal. We need one of those. That's the first step. Boy, oh, B.A., you got us on the jazz now. Oh, he loves it when a plan comes together. Here's your 250. How soon can you clear the joint? After tonight, they'll all march in a straight line. Good. A couple of days, I got a place for you on Addison. Yeah. Maybe after we move down on the place on Addison, I, uh, I charge three. Maybe after you move into that place on Addison, I break every bone in your body. I can get anybody to drink beer and get sick on people's shoes. Always a pleasure. Harrington Management. Mm -hmm. Now, what would a slob like Alvarez be doing reporting to a high-priced management company? And not using the phone to do it. You know, I have gone through all these rental records, and there is no mention of a management company to run this building. Tried to stop him, Mr. Plout. Who the hell are you? No, oh, that's all right. You don't have to stand up. I am Mrs. Murdoch. I am chairwoman of the Tenants Committee for 700 Foster Avenue. Yeah? Well, turn that dune buggy around and roll on out of here. Not until I read my list of complaints, young man. <laughs> now, apartment 312 needs a new refrigerator, and the wiring on the fourth floor is, you'll pardon the expression, exposed. <laughs> the uh, fire escape on the east side is rusted, and it won't, well, it, it won't go down properly at all. And we were promised skylights in the lobby. Hey, enough! Now you and the space cadet hit the streets before I throw you out the window. You can't be that nasty. Even you must have a mother. Around the world! Get him out of my sight! Thanks for coming by. Meeting's over. Oh, not quite. Saying? I never saw anything like it. They tore up the whole place. If we lose that building, we could lose the whole project. Millions of dollars are at stake. Hey, leave it. crank it up to 10. I want those people out of there. I can't get the mayor to support my redevelopment program without those apartments being empty. So you do whatever you have to do. And you can't trace it back to me. I don't own the building. Well, it doesn't take a genius to see what Chadway's up to. There's been an awful lot of real estate activity lately in just one city block. 
Well, he must have something big in mind if he needs the entire block. Another one of his hotels from outer space. Mm -hmm. He's got this building, this building, and this building. And guess whose building is right in the middle? Mama's building. Right. Tell Mr. Chadway the new owner of 700 Foster Avenue is calling. Who is this? Uh, this is a close friend of Nicholas Perry. He signed the property over to me this afternoon. And what do you want? Well, I believe I have the missing piece to your puzzle, and I'm in the mood to sell. I'd consider an offer starting at, say, $2 million. I believe Mr. Perry paid less than 200000 for that building. That's true. He got it at a bargain price. But since that time, there have been some unusual depreciations, not to mention a fire. You know all about that. Yes, well, $2 million is too much. Well, Mr. Perry and I think it's fair. But maybe you're right. Maybe we should... Run it by the mayor's office or the crime commission. See what kind of a figure they come up with. Now, oh, please. Palatial office, huh? Alvarez said we could use it. He wouldn't be around for the next three to five years. Could we get this over with? Let's. I wasn't quite sure how to make out the check. Don't worry about it. We'll fill it out. One question. How many places did you empty with Plout and his goons? I was 10 and 0. Uh, 10 and 1. You try to interfere with another one of my properties, and they won't be able to put you guys back together with Crazy Glue. No problems, Colonel. We have prepared a short film for you to show you exactly how this building will fit into Chicago's magnificent skyline. Hi, pal. He left this in our basement. How did you get in here? Oh, we had invitations. They can't be good. How? Oh. B.A.? You like that better? We have a little story. Now, Mr. Chadway has a slight problem with this development in that he doesn't own this slice right here. I guess they're going to have a heck of a time getting from the lobby to the pool. But I wouldn't stay there. Now, you might think we're picky, but we felt you were dealing in bad faith when you put that bomb in our basement. We're returning your check. Now, we thought you folks might be curious as to how this block was acquired. So, we made a little film. You're gonna love this, Phil. You're one of the stars. I can assure you that every piece of property was acquired legally, so that we could proceed with the development. Sure. Chicago, 1985. <laughs> I was 10 and 0. You try to interfere with another one of my properties, and they won't be able to put you guys back together with crazy glue. This is a story of educated men what? from the what? best of families willing hey, to you're gonna miss the end.